Generally, a king and knight in the endgame are insufficient material to give a checkmate, but there are always exceptions to everything. And in our beloved game of chess, there are more exceptions than rules. So here is just one of them. It's white to play and win the game in seven moves. So the reason white can win in this particular case is because black is uh, cramped. Black's king is completely cramped due to his own rook's pawn and he lacks mobility. He doesn't have too many squares to go to. And that's the reason white can win over here. So if you like, just go ahead, pause the video and try to uh, find the winning sequence of moves that white can uh, employ and win the game. Okay, so I'm expecting that you've already found the brilliant solution. It starts with white playing king to f3, the idea of which will soon uh, be revealed. So, okay, black uh, black's only move as it cannot use the g1 square is to play king to h1. And now white goes king to f2. Okay, and uh, now this is uh, where black has two options. Black can either push forward with something like h2, but then that would result into an instant checkmate with knight to g3. And that's the reason black's only move, on, only logical move, reasonable move is to play king to h2. And this is where we start our knight maneuver. We play knight to d4. Black's only move is to play king h1. Now we have knight to f5. Again, black has two options. Playing something like h2 is terrible because of knight to g3, that would be checkmate. So black's only move, black's only reasonable move is again to play king to h2. White now plays knight to e3. Black has only one move, king to h1. And now you might ask, okay, what was the whole point of the knight maneuver? You know, we played a knight from d4 to f5 to e3, and what was the whole point? This is where the whole point of the maneuver is revealed. White plays knight to f1, taking control of the h2 square. And basically, the black king cannot use the h2 square for his king, and he's forced to uh, play his only legal move, that's to push forward his pawn. So, h2 and now you already know what is coming it's knight to g3 checkmate a very unique a very rare checkmate uh, it does not occur very often but it's something that you should always know this this kind of a knight maneuver so hope you have enjoyed this uh, beautiful chess problem thank you for watching and do subscribe to my youtube channel bye